Today, guys, we're going to be going over some of the new content in the brand new update in Grand RP. And there is a couple awesome things to go over, along with one of the best ways I've seen to make some money and some other pretty damn cool shit. So I hope you go on to enjoy. Of course, if you haven't already joined the city before and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on start playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher, and you should be good to go. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to open some crates and things like that, but I could show you some of the stuff you're able to get from them, along with some of the new stuff we're able to do. In the top right-hand corner, you can see we have a new 50-hour car, and we also have a 15 grand coin promotion going on. Play for five hours, get those grand coins, play for 50 hours, and you get a beautiful Ferrari. And I have some of the cars sitting next to me here. So, here are five vehicles. Yes, that is a crazy beast sitting here. I believe this is a Hummer, and it's got wheels like this. Not really wheels. Um, I think it's called the Mud Track or something like that. Uh, it's sick as hell. State value of it, $20 million. You know what? That's not too bad. Realistically, it's not bad compared to some of the other cars that are almost 40 million. But then we got this thing right here. This is a new BMW that we have called the Homage, $25 million state value. And I swear I looked at this from the back, I'm like, this is a combination of a BMW and a Supra merged together. Obviously a Mark V Supra, but it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty nice looking car. And then right here we have this thing, which has a vinyl on it as well, the Coil TS1. I'm not sure exactly what car this is in real life. I have no idea. I feel like I've seen it before though. It looks pretty damn sick. I feel like I've seen something that looks like this in GTA 5. And then right over here, we have the 50 hour car sitting right here looking beautiful. State value of it is $28 million. That's right. It's a $28 million car. So I'm pretty sure you could just sell it for 2.8 million. But I mean, I'm probably going to keep it because it's a nice looking car. And right here, we have a motorcycle you're able to get known as the Western Road King in the city. $19 million state value. Probably wondering where to get some of these vehicles. Well, if you flex your M muscle, you go to shop, you go to prizes, you will see some of them right here. There is also an Escalade that has the exact same type of tracks that that other vehicle does, which is pretty damn cool. 12 grand coins to open this container, 800k top prize, 500k for opening 10. And then, of course, you got the Hummer one right here. And then we got some of these wings, which I've seen and actually look really cool. I have not seen like these moth wings yet, but these ones look pretty damn cool. And then we also have Lucifer's briefcase. Once again, the wings look pretty cool. I like these ones. I've also seen these, but these look pretty dope too. And you can win some money from it as well. 400k here, 500k for opening up 10 of them. That's not too bad. Nothing new when it comes to grand points. In-game currency, nothing new. Limited. I'm not sure if this is new or not. Might be. It might not be. And then we have for the shards now this is the new thing that is starting up so pretty much let's say you open up this container here these items can be then recycled and you can get more shards from them but you have a chance at winning a really cool looking car and you also get 500k for opening 10 of these odds are you'll probably get one of these items that you can just instantly recycle same thing with this container beautiful vehicle more items you can recycle down here or i mean you could probably wear that mask, which looks really messed up. Uh, obviously, this is the car that we just had spawned in there. Some more items you can recycle here. And if you want to go and recycle them, all you do is go here and click on recycling. And then it will show them in these cells. And then you can just disassemble the items. And it says you do not have items that can be recycled. You can get them in special containers. And of course, these are the special containers. I believe in order to get shards, you do need to spend some grand coins to do it. I'm not sure exactly how many shards you get whenever you do spend grand coins, but we will find that out shortly. And don't forget, of course, there is a whole promotion going on right now, so you're able to get a pretty damn good amount of grand coins. We might also be receiving shards every hour like it has been for certain other events in the past. Um, but anyways, let's take a look at some other stuff. For example, you can see I have some flash drives and scrap metal on me. Well, if you go to creating items, there's two new things here. Barricades, which you can make out of scrap metal. I'm going to go ahead and create that right there. Let's just toss a barricade down, shall we? Where do we put it? Oh, it's... Oh, we could put spike traps down as civilians? Oh, baby. What else do we have? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I canceled it, didn't I? No, I didn't. I don't know where I put it. I, I think I messed up something there. Or maybe that was just a bug. I'm not sure. I'm in the test server, so not everything is perfect here yet. But when it actually comes out in the main servers, it will be flawless. But that's pretty cool. If we could actually put spike traps down, there is going to be some hectic shit going on. I'll tell you that right now. But you can also see I have some flash traps. There is a satellite this year. Now, this is how we're going to be able to make some cold hard cash. Five flash drives allows you to trigger a state data breach event, which is obviously the new event that's happening. An alert will be sent to state agencies about the location of the hack. And all you need to do is protect the facility 
and successfully steal the data. You will get a million dollars for doing this. A million bucks. So there we go. We just made one. Ooh, I got a hoodie. When did I get this? Let's go ahead and put a satellite dish down. You already got the prize today. Okay, so it doesn't look like you're just able to spam it. It's a bit confusing on how to do that, actually. Oh, look, I got some pants as well. Damn, now I'm dripped out. So it doesn't look like you're able to do it consistently like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just saying it's the new event that is going to be happening. But let's take one of these cars. Which one should we take? I'm going to take the BMW. Let's take this thing for a spin. Look at this beauty. Oh, let's close the door there. All right, let's head over to the arena. Damn, the freaking taillights on this thing look sick look at that it goes all the way up onto the wing so as you guys know there is new stuff at the arena over here so we got all the different events that are going on tells you the starting times you get a free case if you are in the top 10 for the month here's obviously the people who are in the top at the moment and i am nowhere near that but all the modes right here endless battles and then you got all the duels you can log into ten thousand dollars damn and then obviously create a room right here. Oh, I kind of like the new setup for this. That ain't too shabby. All right, what else do we got? Oh yeah, of course, gang raids. Uh, obviously, I'm not in a gang, so I'm not able to showcase that. But yeah, gangs are able to just go around to other gangs and raid them. Like I said in a previous video, the ghetto is going to be messed up. People are going to be just going crazy here now. Because I'm assuming if you're able to take a bunch of weapons from another gang's warehouse, uh, you're going to be pretty damn overpowered. Not even sure which garage I was just at. Of course, there is a lot of other stuff that's going to be added within this update. You guys are going to see it when it gets announced. A lot of other small little things. Probably a couple other big things. Which parking lot was I at? Let's take this thing out, bro. This thing looks crazy. Oh my god, it's loud too. This thing is so cool. It's a freaking beast, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, fame or shame truck. Not sure what that's doing there. Yeah, I need to get this thing. I need to get it. Oh, I forgot to mention the battle pass is still the same, which is very good because I am nowhere near finishing it and I need to finish that shit. Just before we continue, why don't you guys take a look at this video sponsor? If you need any assistance in any of your favorite games like GTA 5, Fortnite, Forza, Call of Duty, and many, many more, be sure to check out damn mods down below in the description, and at checkout, use code FROLICS to get up to $100 off your order. The one thing I'm really hyped to do, though, is this. I cannot wait to get those shards and start disassembling crap, just because I want to open some of those containers. Like, look at some of these vehicles. This is where you get the BMW. Pretty sure this is an Aston Martin. Nice Cadillac, motorcycle, Ferrari, a Porsche, which I really don't care for the Porsche, but man, you got some cool shit here. By the way, this has nothing to do with the update, or maybe it does, but uh, I opened an RP ticket in this server, and I was able to get a business card, which pretty much allows you to make any piece of clothing custom the way you want it. All you need to do is contact administration. I didn't even know this existed and that you can get it from RP tickets, but I just wanted to mention it because it's freaking awesome. And if you don't want a custom piece of clothing, you could sell it for 200 grand coins. Just wanted to mention that. Anyways, I guess that is going to wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys go on to enjoy the update. You're probably seeing this right as the update comes out. So hopefully you can load in quickly and start having some fun. And obviously, let me know what you think of it down below in the comments section. But anyways, with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.